Hi, Rich Sheffern here, and as I said yesterday, today I'm going to tell you how I use my process to take books and get them in here. Now, you might be wondering why I'm wearing a sweatband, but you'll understand in a little while. And it's not because when I read, I sweat, but you'll understand. Anyway, behind me are a certain type of books. These are books that I've read once. That's important. You'll understand in a bit. But behind me are books that I've read once. Now we're going to go someplace else. See, now, the books you see here are also books that I've read at least one time. But there's actually a lot more books I want to show you first. Then you're going to understand what happens with all these books. Because believe it or not, this is just a small fraction of the overall books that uh, go through this process. Now, it's funny. I feel like uh, up a wait, there's more infomercial guy. But these are the books, actually, that are on deck to be read next. And uh, you know, I go through them really fast, so it's kind of sloppy. But uh, these are the books that um, I'm going to be reading next. They're all related to marketing, actually. I'm doing a project right now. I know I'm kind of in and out of the camera right now. Trust me, you'll understand all this. Now, in this box are books that I've just completed. These books go to the office. You're going to understand how all this interrelates. But before I go there, let me also show you that behind me here are even more books. And uh, wow. Um, now, you can see here that there's a bunch here. And then even in the corners here, you'll see that there's more. Yes, I'm an information maniac. Um, but that's not the point. One of the things that I want you to see here, um, one last thing, is what you'll see over here. Yeah, whoa, over here. Now, these are all book notes. In other words, these are all notes from the books I've read. Each of these represents about, oh, about 50 to 75 books. Uh, each one labeled to a topic and broken down uh, by book and by category. Now, above me also, you'll see uh, a bunch of binders. Why is that? There you go, binders um, that uh, also uh, broken down book notes, etc. That's important because, you see, I don't want to read something and then ever forget it. I want to lock it in here. But you haven't yet seen what I do to lock it in. So onward. Okay, so you now have seen some of the books that I've read, some of the books that I haven't read, and you're trying to understand now how does all of this fit together. And so let me explain. The books that I've read, I've gone through and skimmed relatively fast. Um, what I do when I'm going into a topic is I want to get a very broad view first. And generally, what that requires is me to go through several books, if not lots of books, on the topic relatively fast and then take notes quickly so that I get a overview of the entire topic. I want to understand what are the big points that every book is going to talk about and what are the more detail points that each book is going to go more in depth on. And to me, that's really important because before I dive in really deeply into a book, I want to understand the overview. I want to understand the layout. And the reason why is kind of what I was talking about yesterday. It's the relationships to things that your brain remembers. So by really understanding all the relationships in an area first, then when I finally dive deep into a book, then... I'm ready to make those connections in my own brain and remember it. So that's an important step, and I want you to remember that. Now, I'm outside right now, and the reason I'm outside is I do a lot of my reading out here. And there are different levels of reading for me. So I just finished a book. Um, I'm holding the camera today because I didn't bring my tripod. Um, and it's called Executive Presence. And it's a really good book. It's a book about really personal branding. It's a book about uh, politics of companies. It's a book about how to really read people and how to project the right um, aura, if you will, confidence uh, to other people as you go about um, building your business. And you see, this is incredibly important. The book is, in my opinion. And what I do when I read it is that I massively highlight. I highlight a lot. And the reason why is that I'm, what I'm not highlighting is all the fat. Um, kind of like if you were to imagine like you're going to put a steak on the grill and you're cutting away all the fat first. That's kind of how I look at a book. I'm cutting away all the fat by what I don't highlight. Now, this will be important later, so you'll understand how all this fits together. But before you see how it all comes together, now it's time for me to take this book to the office so you can see what happens to it. So once again, uh, this book was called Executive Presence, and you're going to see what happens to this book as they take it to the office and what they do to this book. If you're a book lover, you might want to turn off the camera now or the video now because you're not going to like to see what comes next. Now we're in the office, and normally I would give this book to Janine, but um, she's busy typing right now, and I'm recording. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you what actually happens to the books once I bring them into the office. Uh, what we do is we actually rip the binding off. 
So, hence, any book that you see in my library, we haven't done this yet, too, but we've done it with literally thousands of books already. Okay, so now we have the book without the binding. We usually take off the first two pages. Oops. And now take off the end about the author and stuff because I don't really keep that stuff. And so now we're left with just this book, right? Now, I have to get up and show you where it goes, okay? So be right back. Okay, so now we're going to take this book and we're going to walk over here. And let's see if you can see what I see. You will see over here, right here, this is a guillotine. And I'm going to turn the camera around so you can actually see it. All right, so now you can see the book here is in the guillotine. And what we're doing is basically getting ready to chop the glue off. even and now we will actually cut off that there's the um, there's the binding what's left of it and now we have the book with no, no cover. They're just individual pages. Now we go to the next machine. Okay, now that the binding's off, we've guillotined it. Now what we do is actually we stick it in this machine over here. And this is a, let's see if you can see it. It's a Canon uh, DR908C. It's actually a... Uh, high-speed, double-sided color scanner. Now, the reason why we do all this, obviously, is with what we do next. And what we do next is, is that that book gets scanned. After the book is scanned, what happens is, is that it then, is gets, it then gets sent to the Philippines. And once it's sent to the Philippines, we have someone who actually takes everything I highlighted and takes it out and puts it into a separate Word document. Let me just kind of fix that. And so from that separate Word document, it gets sent back, it gets turned into a PDF, and then from, P from that PDF format, it goes into a program called Calibre, C-A-L-I-B-R-E. And in Calibre, um, it's a free app, you can download it for the Mac or for the PC, it will turn that into, from a PDF into an EPUB. In an EPUB, then it goes into Quick Reader, and in Quick Reader, it will then allow me to do some really special stuff, and you'll see that in a moment back at my house. Okay, so you've seen a lot already, and you've seen all the work that goes into this final part. And you're going to be quite surprised that now all these steps are taken, and it all culminates right here. So let me show you where it all goes. And it goes, let's see, right here, this stair machine. Um, and there's my dog walking in, and uh, this stair machine right here. And let's see if you can see it, yeah. And um, why does it go to the stair machine? Well, here's the thing. Each morning, um, I come to my stair machine, and the very first thing I do, I don't know if you can see down here, is I turn on this oxygen machine. Yep, I work out to oxygen. It's called EWAT, Exercise with Oxygen Therapy. And what it does is it provides pure oxygen or concentrated oxygen uh, while I exercise. I'm going to turn it, I won't turn it on now because it actually makes some noise. Now, after I've turned it on, I get up here, and, uh, and you'll see there that I have an uh, extra iPad there. And on that iPad is every book that I've taken to the office that Janine has chopped, sent to the Philippines, and it's come back. Now, I want you to, I'm going to flip the camera around so that you can see what I see when I'm working out. Now, I want to explain first what you're going to see. Um, first off is that I listen to classical music while I'm doing it. So I've got oxygen up my nose, and, uh, and I got this iPad, and I'm working out. 
and my heart is beating at about 150 to 160 beats per minute. And uh, there on the iPad, going across the screen is the book I read uh, that went to the office, that got chopped, that got to the, sent to the Philippines, that got cut apart, and now it sits on my iPad. Now, what I do is, is that I first start out and I review the book at 2,000 words per minute. So I go through the whole book at 2,000 words per minute. When I'm finished with that, then I'll go through the book at about 3,000 words per minute. And when I'm finished with that, then I'll go through the book at 4,000 words per minute. So 2,000, 3,000, and 4,000. Then I go back down to 2,000, and lo and behold, 2,000 is relatively easy for me to keep up with. And I do that each day for at least one book. Now, there are special days with special books, and I will tell you about that in a future episode, but I want you to see what it looks like um, from my perspective. So be back in a second. Okay, so this is the view that um, uh, I see when I'm standing on my stair machine uh, with my oxygen and listening to classical music. So let's pick uh, this book here. It's called Win, The Key Principles to Take Your Business from Ordinary to Extraordinary. And it's written by Frank Luntz, a friend of mine. All right. And I press here and watch. So that's 2,000 words a minute, two stops per line. Now, we're not going to read the whole book right now, but you can kind of get a sense of that. Now, just to kind of stop it here for a second, I'm just going to actually uh, turn off the video camera and then turn it back on, and so you can see 3,000 words a minute. Okay, this is 3,000 words a minute. Now let's go to 4,000 words a minute. This is 4,000 words a minute. And see, what you're doing here is by forcing yourself to keep up, your eyes start to learn to move faster and to take in chunks of words at a time. You do this consistently, and you train your eyes to move this fast. Hence, 2,000 words a minute is relatively easy for me now. It wasn't always the case. And that's how this works. Now, there is some really great um, ways to utilize this, and I'll explain that in the next episode. But for right now, this is my process. And now, I want to tell you a little bit more about what happens after I'm done reading the book. Okay, so you've seen the whole process now. Now, here's how it all works, okay? I skim books, I get a perspective of the whole topic, then I go deep into each book, and I highlight, and I highlight a lot so that this way, ultimately, what happens is, is that I'm left with a very abridged version of everything I thought was important in the book. Bring it to the office, they chop it, scan it, send it to the Philippines, I get back everything I highlighted, it goes, then gets printed out, so I get a Word document of it, and also it gets turned into an ebook and goes to Quick Reader. Then when I'm working out every morning, I will pick several books, and I will go through that process that I just showed you. Now, when I get off the stair machine, after an hour, because I do an hour every morning, when I get off the stair machine, I sit down and I think about what I just learned and I quickly summarize what I just learned and I turn them into processes like I told you yesterday. But the most important thing I do, the thing that has made the biggest difference uh, in my business and my ability to perform is I think about my day and I think about what I just learned, what I just reviewed, and how can what I just reviewed be applied to what I have to do today. Now, on days where I have to work on marketing issues, challenges, etc., I can some, I'll sometimes review five or six of the legendary marketing books, books like Breakthrough Advertising, Tested Advertising by Caples, um, you know, Scientific a Advertising by Schwab, uh, How to Write a Good Advertisement, uh, you know, all those old classics, and I'll cover them all in the morning, and they'll all be fresh in my mind for that day. And that's what gives me a tremendous competitive advantage because I've reviewed everything I thought was important in the morning that then I make sure to apply during the day. 
So there is my process. I'm not sure if you want to see me hooked up to oxygen. I'm not sure if you want to see me drenched in sweat while I'm actually reading. Uh, let me know. Let me know what your process is. Um, I'm sure it's probably not as elaborate as mine, but uh, you know, the way I look at it is I get paid to think for a lot of people. And because of that, I need to constantly upgrade my brain so that I, it's at its best and I'm able to pull ideas from lots of places. So that's my process. Uh, tell me about your process, I'm curious, and share this so that uh, we can create a really big conversation and maybe we'll all learn how we can improve our learning processes. And then uh, we'll take this conversation e even further tomorrow. Till then, uh, to higher profits and beyond, Sheffrin over and out.